All right, it's Friday, 9 o'clock in the morning, July 3rd. That means it's time for Open Mic Radio. I'm your host, Mike Hagan. I had a chance to catch up with my friend John Randall recently. John is the singer, songwriter, guitar player, and vocalist for the Hootenhollers, along with bandmates Kelly Everett and Andy Ream. John's a great musician and a really cool guy. And I hope you enjoy this conversation along with a few songs that John threw in for us. All right, everyone. It's Mike Hagan. This is Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM, streaming on the web at kopn.org. And for me, on the web at www.mikehagan.com. Click on the button that says Open Mic Radio. Uh, so I'm drinking elderberry wine here. I'm uh, drinking Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> And when I heard you were drinking elderberry wine, I was like, well, I better crack that Pabst. <laughs> How's your new puppy dog? Oh, my God. She's incredible. I she mean, is I, I only adorable. Saw, I only Did I send pictures to you? Yeah, I, I only saw those couple of photos, but she looks like a beautiful little puppy. She is, and she's doing great. She's like, <laughs> she slept in the crate last night with crate trainer and her, and she like, did acceptable with that. Like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's done most of her... Uh, going to the bathroom outside which I, I also wasn't expecting i was expecting a lot more accidents uh she just sleeps a lot and <laughs> sometimes gets wild but like mostly sleeps how, how did you like a, how, how did you come across um getting this particular new puppy we got her from a rescue in in town here called uh unchained melodies yeah yeah and yeah they're, 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 they're taylor, actually, taylor followed them on uh they're supporters um, of KOPN, actually. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah they we had had a really great experience with uh, working with them, and they seem like they really have uh, their stuff together. All right. Well, before before we get too deep into this, I will say that uh, you're listening to KOPN Columbia eighty nine point five FM. My name is Mike Hagan, and this is Radio Orbit. I'm talking to my friend John Randall, and uh, John is a familiar name to many people around here. And he's certainly a, a, a regular guest, I guess I should say, on this program, but certainly been <laughs> times before. Um, John it's has been, been a minute. Yeah, it's been a bit. We're on, we're on Radio Orbit right now, not, uh, not the morning show. No, this is actually going to be for, for Open Mic Radio. This will be for the morning oh, this show. This is Open Mic Radio. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, John, guitar player, singer, songwriter, front man for the band, the Hooten Hollers, and um, this is a good friend of mine for many, many, many years. So anyway, great to be back and talking with you, Johnny, so. Um, man, happy to be here. It's good to see you again, Mike, I miss you. Yeah, I miss our little pinball sessions. I know, I know, we need to, we need to try to do it again, but it's a crazy time right now, and, and, and I guess- Have you been back to the Silver Ball or to any of these bars? You know, um, I've been back to Booch's a few times because that's sort of my sort of my go-to. Um, yeah. But but I've been I've been pretty I've been keeping it pretty close close to home myself, you know. Uh, I mean, I have sort of mixed feelings about the whole COVID thing. Um, I I certainly believe it's a real 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 deal, and uh, well, it's, yeah, that's it, clear. You know, uh, that's clear. Um, I think that pinball might be one something that's pretty a pretty good reinter like reintroductory action you know you just go up there with a, a container of lysol wipes and i don't know you're there by yourself it just seems like it's pretty isolated every time i've right. actually been in the right. solar ball it's been pretty isolated up there right we just we, i know that place has gotten crowded but it's not usually crowded when, it's not usually when i go in there yeah yeah i i agree and um the life around town and stuff. I mean, it's definitely different than it was. And what do you, what are you doing? Are you, are you, are you, I guess probably one of the questions that, that a lot of people would, would be interested in for you is what you've been doing in lieu of live performances and traveling and all that. I mean, the Hootenhauers have been on the road, man, a lot from, for quite a few years now. And I mean, you guys, that, that's your thing. You get out and you go and you go play and yeah, what, what 
what's it been like for you, John? I know you actually had a show a week or two ago up in Illinois, and I'm, and I'm actually going to ask you about that too. But, but first, let's, just tell us what, 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 how you guys have been handling it. I mean, as, as best as we can, we've missed it. We missed the whole scene and like miss traveling and miss the exchange of energy at shows. And, uh, so what, what have I been doing in lieu of it is not much. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing a lot of guitar at home by myself. Uh, we've done a couple of these live streams that have been uh, really fun and kind of cathartic, you know, like just like cooped up in the house. Like, How do you do the live stream? What, what's the actual technical side of that? Like, uh, Just like we're doing here on Facebook, or just like we're doing here with my phone propped up against the uh, <laughs> glasses case on my right. table. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I think it works out pretty well. Like you can really lean into the camera or the microphone when you <laughs> when you want to. It can be kind of. Uh -huh. We had our first live uh, full band live stream uh, a couple of weeks ago, and that was a lot of fun. We did it in the studio here at Centro Cellar, uh, which is in my backyard. Yeah. And did that. We recorded that one on uh, on Kelly's laptop using a. A program that allows you to like plug in a microphone in through an interface and like and you have more more than one channel yeah well we were actually just all going through one channel but then we there was like one condenser microphone picking up uh all the sound to go into the computer but we were mic'd up through the pa that will has in the live room so the one so the so one like coming out of the cold speakers. sound yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And that works decent, I guess. I think it worked decently. It's like, I don't know. The sound is never going to be as good as it'll be live. Like, I mean, also, most people are watching it on their cell phones, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, right, and, and I think that, and I mean, a studio album always sounds better than, well, I won't say always, but oftentimes will sound better than the live stuff and that kind of thing anyway. So it's really not about... I agree. Like, with I mean, the and there's a quality but, issue to a certain extent, but it's also about interaction and just people enjoying totally. it. You know? There's something about a live performance and seeing a band play a song that is like a lot greater than just what the, like the recording of that performance would be. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like the people that are with you in the audience, and, and it's the loudness and the incredible depth of sound that you don't really get from any kind of recording. Like. Right. Right. That's why for me, live music has always been just like primary. It's it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and ever since I've known you, I mean, the uh, even in the earlier days of of your musical work, you you you've been a live performer. Uh, I mean, I know absolutely. And, and we've I, always I, I, I we've I always tried to capture that on recording, and I've never really been able to because I don't think you actually can capture it on recording just and that's not just us that's just like performance in general like right. right there's something about being there that I mean I love don't don't get me wrong I'm really glad that this technology exists so that we can actually have oh, do live God. stream things and sit here and play my guitar in a living room and you know a couple hundred people can watch it like that's a pretty incredible thing that I'm super thankful for but I'm just ready I'm ready to <laughs> do the real deal again you know all right yeah i agree with you all right well you probably do have your guitar sitting there pretty handy maybe maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, we, can see, maybe we can see if the, if the zoom thing will work out well enough and you can play play one for us huh i've done a lot of zoom concerts for my uh family my grandmother while we've been on this quarantine thing and uh i don't know I don't know if the, I don't know if it's KOP and radio quality, but <laughs> it seems to be <laughs> actually decent it, enough. If, if it's if it's KOP and quality, it'll make any other radio station <laughs> in the country. <laughs> no, it's great, and um, and I, I I will tell people I'm so glad to be here, and and it's Mike Hagen, it's Open Mic Radio, and I got John Randall with me here. Uh, he is uh, the uh, guitarist, singer, songwriter for the Who Now stuff as well anyway uh it's a pleasure to be with john this evening it's actually wednesday night and it's the first of july and we'll we'll air this in a couple days on friday but it's uh in the future 
Yeah, that's right. It's, we're actually you're actually time traveling right now, baby. So whoa, right now, what, what, radio what, orbit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you got? Uh, what are you gonna play for us, John? Oh, I'm gonna play the old radio orbit theme song, oh. Outer Space, from the early days of the Hoot and Holler. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Let's go. I think it's high time I left this to rescue your waist. I'm going to outer space. Ooh, I'm going to outer space. Well, you can have my money and the keys to my place because I won't be needing them in outer space. Mama with a smile on her face. I said, You're much too pretty for the human race that's gonna outer space. Ooh, it's gonna outer space. She left without a word, but the smile on her face seemed to say, Baby, I'll meet you up in outer space. That's Andy Shot. It's hard to play this, some of these songs without Andy and without Kelly. I take to the sky, but you will never understand the way that I felt when I looked over and I seen a little asteroid belt. You can see that home, sing your same old song. One of these days you wake up and realize what you have been missing all along. Was up in outer space. <laughs> yeah, there's up in outer space. I will meet you up there, baby. Just name the time and the place because I think that what you're looking for is in outer space. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing outer space. I'm seeing real love and peace. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. An oldie but a goodie. Only but a goodie. Yeah. Played that on your radio show like 2007, John. Was that when it was? That's when it was. I remember it. Yeah. That's 13 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, and the and and you and Andy and and now Kelly for quite a quite a few years. How long has Kelly Kelly's been with the band now for four or five years at least? Oh, I think maybe not quite. It's like it all kind of blends together now, but uh I want to say it's more than that. Kelly mm -hmm. was so 2014, so I want to say, was when she started playing with us and uh, was full-time probably like 15, maybe. Okay. If don't quote me on that, Kelly. We'll have to <laughs> well, anyway, try. Uh, the, 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 uh, the time flies, but it's really amazing to see what happens when you actually do something for an extended period of time. And I guess that's one of the lessons of life that you don't really realize when you're young is that you just got to do something for a while and it, you just got to stay with it. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and then you look back and go, wow, That's the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. And a, a huge uh, tip of the hat and, and credit to you and to Andy and, and, and to Kelly, because Kelly was in the scene uh, obviously long before she got with the Hootenhollers. You, in fact, you're all St. Louis uh, crew. 
and it's an interesting gang outside of you and uh, Andy and Kelly, the, the, the St. Louis sort of uh, musical group that came. Or that That's an amazing, amazing group of people out of there, yeah. Come out, of, out of your generation, I mean, you know, that, that are all guys and girls sure. who are around the same age as you. And uh, Jack Relly comes to mind, uh, uh, but many others. Absolutely, Jack Relly. Uh, Rum Drum Ramblers. Absolutely, oh my God. Pokey. I mean, yeah, Pokey, holy shit, yeah. But anyway, remarkable uh, group of uh, musicians that all kind of came up in the same scene uh, around the same time. And now you're all doing your thing and in a weird way sort of sort of crossing but not all the time you know i mean uh, different styles and things like that but anyway just just been pretty pretty amazing actually to watch the whole thing happen and i'm 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 thrilled about it john are you going to plan on doing okay you've been off touring and traveling and playing live for quite some time yeah, so, our, our last tour was at the, in February. Okay, so you've had four months now, essentially, of off time where you haven't been traveling. Right. Are you writing? Are you, do you have plans to record? What's the band doing? What's we've, the recorded, band? we've recorded an album that we have not released yet. Um, and it's, at this point, it's finished, but we are trying to find a record label to put it out. We're kind of shopping around for that, and this whole uh, coronavirus thing has made just the entire music industry very uncertain and un kind of unstable, I guess, maybe. Um, I, don't know I don't know if that's the right word, but it's just like nobody knows when real live music is coming back, and it's like live music on any kind of money-making scale has to have a lot of people crammed into a space it doesn't have to be a small space but it's like the idea of a socially distant concert it's like that's that would be yeah. something that can that can happen but that can't sustain the nobody music. makes any money is the problem right i mean it, and it, like locally that's gonna happen and it is happening and i'm not exactly sure what the logistics of what the logistics of that are but just on a on a grand scheme especially when you start talk, talking about the artists who like make real money like people who are selling stadiums and stuff like, yeah yeah and that's obviously that's not the kind of record label that we're pitching our uh record to at all but it's still i don't know it's it's the, the whole industry is just kind of like hanging in limbo all right so what about new ideas i mean um anytime Anytime things get really weird and prohibitive and uh, and change to the point where, the, where 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 things as they used to be can't 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 be done anymore, usually new ideas something will come up and say, okay, well we can't do this, so shit, let's figure out a way to do this. How how can we do it? I know that the live streaming shows have been part of the part of the answer i know you yourself in fact i think you you've done a number of uh what sunday night maybe i think right you, what you've been doing like oh it's, it's been different days the whole time oh we haven't had a set day yet all right so, but but you've you've had enough middle of the week live weekend shows. oh yeah i mean and i'd love to see that, that that's something that's come out of this the whole coronavirus thing like i got to see like willie nelson playing as guitar in his kitchen with yeah. and like the connection was bad and it was yeah like, <laughs> i saw the whole thing too that that whole thing was so poorly produced but it was great i was like wow it's like it us. Great. It's like all these people are just like yeah i'm just i'm just sitting in my house too sorry you can beat that out right not at all yeah <laughs> it's coronavirus time I, like i don't even care anymore like i'm on the radio I'm like, you <laughs> yeah know. well you think that fcc <laughs> like, even exists anymore in this trump administration no but jo john I, I i agree with you it's sort of it's sort of um uh, it sort of brought everyone down to living room level or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, and and that was really cool. And 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 I love seeing uh, really famous performers sort of having to do it in an environment where they didn't have all the all the support and all the all the all the staff and all the makeup people and the costume people and the yeah. right, lights. He's got Willie in his kitchen with his kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. All right. So um, back to uh, back to new music and recording. So you have a you have a new record that's yeah. Already we recorded done. we recorded a new album before. It's actually uh, in the can. It's already done. It's in the can. Yeah, we we got it ready to go. It's not. It hasn't been. Uh, it's digitally in the can. There's no physical okay. copies of it. I anyway. understand. It's like the U.S. Yeah. dollar. There's. Uh, <laughs> um, it exists. <laughs> liquidly <laughs> has it been has it been titled uh you know not officially so we we have we have an idea that we're pretty much going to go with but i don't know i, I want to talk to my bros about it first not, not at all i just I'm just asking okay cool all right and um what are you what are you hearing from the rest of the gang i mean uh other people your your peers your friends out there in the music industry and in the you know just out there uh, making music and who are who are in the same boat as you that are used to touring are they i mean are they saying the same story or stories like you guys or do they have other plans or what's happening around the country is it similar to here or i mean i don't know i don't know anybody that is like got some kind of great plan to move forward through the coronavirus. Everybody wants it to go away and we can continue doing things the way that we have been doing it before. Like, I, at least that's how I'm thinking of a lot of this. It's like, it's, it's gotta be temporary at this point. I'm, I still haven't come to the like decision that live music as we knew it is dead forever. No, but no, I, I'm, it's I'm, gonna I'm, be messed up for a while. And yeah. I know, so it's like people are doing working side jobs. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I will not accept that this is the end of my life. Music. <laughs> no, I, it's like, oh no, we can only play music on the internet anymore. No, <laughs> or a driving no. movie theater, which yeah. is great. I love the novel concept of the driving movie theater show, or like the drive up concert or whatever. But it's not a new normal by any means. No, no, it's at least a, in my it's a it's a weak substitute and and. Uh, and I guess people, some people will try to try to make it seem like it's the new normal. But uh, anyway, I think people are just trying to get by. It's like people miss the music and gathering at music events is so important to so many people that like I don't. We need something, and it's like this. These things are tiding us over, but like I think everybody who who really thrives in that kind of scene is just itching right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, John, the, the, the older I've gotten, and I'm quite a bit older than I used to be. Um, yeah, <laughs> really? And, and this is sort of common sense, but, it, but, you, but you sort of got to experience it before you actually really get it. And it's about really, really loving something and then losing it and then realizing how much you really loved it after you lost it. You know what I mean? And and it can, it can be you know, it can be a personal thing, relationship wise, but it's also about things like live music. Like we take things for granted, and you don't realize how much you get out of something like that. And and uh, yeah. and once you lose it, you realize, wow, I don't, I didn't, I didn't realize how much I love being out and seeing the music and being interactive with my friends and the musicians and and uh, just the scene. And I think yeah. that we're, I think that all of us that, that that appreciate just life in the world, to be honest, are really are really getting a, a taste of that right now about what it's like to 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 really enjoy something and kind of take it for granted and then and then lose it, you know. That, that's kind of, that's part of the human experience to such a deep degree that people have been writing songs about it for right <laughs> ever. Yeah. Right, and now, and now, now we're all living it. So I, I in, yeah. in, in, a, in a way, I kind of, in a way, we don't I miss your water till your wells run dry. <laughs> all right, how about another? How about another song for the for the listeners? Yeah, uh, we'll it's Mike, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio. It's KOPN Columbia, eighty nine point five FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. For me, triple uh, w mikehagan.com. Click on the little button that says Open Mic Radio, and uh, subscribe to the podcast which I have to say because the people that promote this show force me to do this. Wait, wait, <laughs> the uh, man. 
we're a nonprofit uh, and uh, volunteer run radio station. Either way, if you like the podcast, and uh, this is John Randall. He's a great singer, a songwriter, a friend of mine. He uh, is the front man for a band called the Hooten Hollers. If you're not familiar with them, check them out on the web at www.thehootenhollers.com, I believe. Right? Yeah, thehootenhollers.com. All one word. All, all one word. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, here's, uh, here's Johnny Rose. He's going to play one for us. Okay. This one is off of the... Uh the new album that will release sometime. And here we go. So back in business. <laughs> I'm back in business again. So good to see you, my friend. Thought I was out for the man. Back in business again. Stayed away for too long. Forgot the words in my own song. I wrote some new ones today. I like it better this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm finally feeling so good. Ooh, way, baby. Oh, I didn't know that I could. Been saving all of my dough. Can't wait to get on a dance floor. I need some music that grows. So I can show you my dance moves. My baby looking so fine. I got two bottles of wine. She gives me a wink and a grin. Yeah, I'm back in business again. the blues let some good feeling in and I'm back in business again oh, oh yeah oh yeah man I'm finally feeling so good oh wait 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 oh I didn't know that I could saxophone because it's not here <laughs> <laughs> that is a cut that sax solo a little bit short, but I swear, <laughs> Kelly, it's a really pivotal moment in the song. Kelly just rips the saxophone solo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And that's something from uh, from the new record that's yet to be released. That'll be off the, that'll be off the new one, yeah. All right, is it, what, what's that one? You can tell me the name of the song. You can't tell me the name oh, of Oh yeah, that's Back in Business. Back in Business, okay. All right, and uh, yeah, let's say hi to Andy and, uh, and Kelly Everett out there. Andy and Kelly, what's up, bros? How you doing? you guys. You know, um, uh, Andy, of course, I'm sure you know, has been working with Justin. Uh, oh yeah, oh, oh, they've been calling into your show oh, regularly. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh no, they can't do it because it's pre-recorded. No, no, that was actually, such a tradition of Justin. <laughs> actually, they, they uh, last week I was back in the studio and and they actually did call in uh, Andy and Justin both. They're playing jokes on me like they always do. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, a couple of jokesters, those that's, guys. That's all right. So, what about um, the rest of your family? Everyone doing okay? Have you, I know you haven't traveled much. What's happening up in Michigan? I know you got family all. Kind of well, play. my family lives out in California for the most part, uh, my immediate family at least, and uh, they're doing great. Like, my mom is, was able to immediately work from home because of the nature of her job, and uh, 
I think that she's been enjoying a lot of time with my dad and her dog, uh, Roxy. <laughs> is a great little <laughs> bulldog. And then my little sister lives out there in San Francisco too. And uh, her baby Maxie is just kind of starting to learn to walk. And like, I'm uh, back to the awesome technology thing. Like they just like take pictures of their kids and like videos and stuff and they just automatically show up in my phone <laughs> like so i get i don't know i've just i've been seeing a lot of uh fun videos of my nieces and nephews learning to walk and ride bicycles and then <laughs> yeah and then my mom's <laughs> beloved dog she like has a whole folder devoted to the dog that's constantly being updated <laughs> with insanely cute bulldog pics like yeah and as long as they put you on the list you 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 get them whenever they put them up on their phone or whatever right yeah yeah you know i'll tell that's you you're right and and the fact that I, I feel really fortunate that we actually have the technology in the situation that we're in right in other words like it used to be that you know, it was no big deal you just go see somebody or whatever and Right. But, but uh, the fact that we have Zoom or we have FaceTime or Skype or whatever is, you know, it was, it's one of those, another one of those things that was, t it, that was taken for granted. We had this stuff, yeah. we had this stuff a year ago, which is people weren't using it the way that they're using it now. And well, yeah, now it's like most of everybody's meaningful interactions takes place over technology like that. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it's amazing well, that we can do that, but I can't wait for that to not be the case. I'm, 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 I'm been using entirely too much bandwidth recently, <laughs> <laughs> just in general. All right. So, what what else have you been doing? Are you working um, uh, since you haven't been playing music or just chilling out? No, I'm not working. Well, but, you're a puppy dog, so you, it's a good thing that you're not, frankly. Yeah, and that was one of the deciding factors in getting this puppy was that. Uh, we were both going to be home for forever, a while. <laughs> like, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> what about um, what about your own individual private work writing career? <laughs> well, I, I hesitate to say career, but um, but you're also uh, a performer. Yeah, in, in, uh, I think of myself as, oh, as a performer first and foremost, more than I think of myself as a writer, even though I've written some songs. Like, I like to sing, I like to play. But as since since you spend since you've been spending a lot of time lo alone, do you find yourself concentrating more on uh, singer songwriter individual stuff rather than band stuff? I guess is what I'm. What I'm trying to say, not not that the band isn't still, you know, obviously a priority, but you're also uh, a guy who can do his own thing without without a band. And uh, have I, have, I have a lot of fun just the act of sitting around and singing a song that I like, and like the feeling of singing it and the feeling of playing it, and like that feels good to me. And I'll do that for an audience of zero. Off <laughs> <laughs> Any time, really. Like, and sometimes I even prefer it because then you can like do that's how, how you can learn things and like do things that sound bad and not worry about what the, somebody else is. It's just like the feeling of playing is when you do it a lot. It's something that I don't know. You really <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. To, it's hard for me to explain it. But well, it, uh, it becomes something that you you like to do or you or you just want to do or you feel i don't know yeah absolutely it's, it's something that i need like need to do yeah yeah it's, it's no it's okay to say that i mean i think i think i think that i think that's actually the truth um because not everybody is an artist and and by that i and i don't just mean musical artists i mean a painter a poet a sculptor whatever my, my experience in the world is that you know, and you can really get deep on this, John, because we're all sort of, oh, yeah. we're all sort of artists in the sense that, that making radio is art. But we, all, but we all tend to gravitate towards things that we love. And when you get really good at something that you love, 
I don't care what it is. If you get really good at something that you love, it's art. Yeah. And you see the beauty in it. <laughs> you see the beauty in it. I really, I really, I really think that. You know. All right. Uh, I believe it. Will you play another song? Yeah, well. I know you got a few in your bucket there, so. Oh sure. We could do this all night long, people. <laughs> Let's see. Hey John, back off that mic a little bit. I feel like we're getting a little okay. bit drowned out on the on the guitar. Okay. One second. And by the way, uh, this is KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM. And my name is Mike Hagan. This is Open Mic Radio. And I love what we're doing because I got John Randall with me and he's playing guitar from his kitchen uh, in downtown Columbia. And it's not perfect and it's not really <laughs> planned, but it's, but it's life in the world right now. And I it is it. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's what we got. It's what we got, and I love it. All right, so um, the last one you played was a new song, and I appreciate you sharing that with uh, with with us. What do you got? Uh, what do you got for us next year, Johnny? Uh, let's see. I'll do a. Uh, it's not a new song. This is a song uh, I wrote for my first cat. My eldest cat, Jolene. <laughs> oh, and by the way, this is probably my favorite uh, video that's ever been. Uh, oh, this video is a lot of fun to make. <laughs> it is the best. And, and kudos to uh, Brock and his gang, right? Oh, yeah. Anyway, here's Jolene. All right, here we go. Two, three.
always the only something I can do to make you see. I want to make you see, baby. Jolene, sweet cat, a sweet song. Oh yeah, she's sweet. What was that? Is it there was a uh, chili coffee fireball? Chili coffee fireball. Yeah. yeah, I still think that's my favorite record of all time for the Wahoo. Party. That was the first the recording. That was the first time that Kelly played with us. Yeah, those, yeah. Those sessions really. And, and uh, she played it. She played her bass sax on Jolene, and like we were just like blown away by <laughs> yeah. and the uh the video filmed out there at the dome at joe dames's place and a bunch of the dog pound gang out there uh while yeah. that while that happened that was fantastic that was really great a really great time <laughs> hey johnny tell me about the show that you guys did up in illinois a week or two ago i know you actually actually performed live uh which yeah. is which you unheard of these days but I yeah know- you guys had a show a couple weeks ago. What was that about? It was cool. It was at uh, it was in Mount Carroll, Illinois, a small town in Illinois, and at this is that a BMX, a, a kind of like a BMX motocross sort of off-road motorcycle racing compound kind of thing. That in the back of they have this awesome amphitheater called the Rhythm Section. It's the rhythm section in Mount Carroll. Um, but they just have an extremely large kind of terraced out, outside area that uh, there, were, there were, I don't know, I would say that you, the place would probably hold 2,000 or more, and there might have been 100 there. So, like, I mean, it was like groups of people congregating with each other, but right. it definitely was people, anybody who wanted distance could have it. and like ourselves included and uh it was great though it was a really fun experience like is that is it a regular affair is it something you've done before is it an annual yeah this is the second time we actually played the first we played the first concert at this amphitheater last year so it's a relatively new place but it's a uh, it's cool and they seem to have a, a pretty good plan for operating through all of this stuff like i don't know but we'll see what becomes of everything i'm i just don't know what's going to happen <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest <laughs> you you and me and everybody but the room section is awesome and like i would i would play there it's like and i would play out at rose like i think that there's so many great shows out at rose yeah yeah I, in fact um i guess it was maybe two weeks ago and and uh the daves played out there i was out there for i, I wasn't able to stay for the whole thing but i mean it was reasonably well attended and 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 they were people were were being responsible you know with regard to the distance they were keeping and and the way that rose had it set up you know nolan's a good guy and and they really tried yeah. to, uh, try to well they've completely retooled their operation to be yeah. like an outside only bar and it's like yeah. rose is one of the only places in town that has the ability to really do that like yeah but yeah having that they can bar completely is- function as a bar without a person seven foot inside <laughs> yeah no doubt about it john yeah so i, like that. I mean I, I i think i think everybody that's in the in the music scene want you know misses and 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 you know feels the need for live music at the same time they're trying to balance that with 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 with, with the new protocols that have to be uh respected you know so it's a weird, it's, yeah. It's a weird deal, and we're all trying to figure out what the f- is going on. So, <laughs> uh, it's true. Yeah, but anyway, I'm 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 glad you're doing well, and 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 you're hanging tough, and I, and I imagine, and I say this always, all the time, if nothing else, we know that this particular period of time that we're in right now is going to generate a whole bunch of really cool art. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be well documented. <laughs> It will be well documented, and hopefully it doesn't all end up in the book. Yeah. But 
All right, so um, uh, let's talk really quickly about this album that you've already recorded. I, I imagine you're trying yeah. to decide when to re when to release it because typically when you release a record, you like to tour and 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 support it, you know, with a, a little bit of road well, stuff. So for a band at our stage, it's like you kind of have to, like. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, what about new record? I think it's one of the best records that we've. It's, it's some of the best recordings that we've made, and it's like we uh, were more of a band and more of a cohesive unit through all of this than we have been on previous records. And I don't know. I walked away from this session feeling actually really, really proud, which is rare for recording <laughs> from Haley's. Like. Yeah. Well, and you guys are you guys are pretty tough on yourselves too, and. Uh... But anyway, okay, so what about new material? Are, are, are you continuing to write in the meantime here? And maybe you make another album in the, in, in the meanwhile. I mean, we're all, we're all writing. We've had a goal to write four songs a year between the three of us, <laughs> or at least like get them off the ground. And I think that we're all uh, working on it. It's like, we don't, I haven't personally come up with a, the whole song, but I always have little things bouncing around in my head that I'll find myself humming a melody or repeating a line or something like. Right. Well, so I don't know. I haven't. I haven't been like. I'm not an extremely pro prolific songwriter at all. It's like I have to feel like I have to really squeeze songs out of myself, and I haven't really been using my time in this quarantine to just create a bunch of material i wish I, that i would have but it's just not how it went down <laughs> all right so but 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 for the hooten howlers would you say that the songwriting and just roughly speaking who does most of the songwriting you andy kelly 30 40 30 everybody does 30 percent or is it all i mean i'm on this record it's the distribution is pretty equal, honestly. Uh, of, and but it was also a really collaborative effort. It's like we all brought thing. There were a lot of things that we all worked out together. But as far as like the general skeleton of the song, like the original idea I, or something. Um, and then, but in in a lot of cases, it's like one of us will come up with the whole a whole ass song that's just like here's the chords <laughs> we can play it now like, right, and figure out your part I was like, well we got i got a verse and a chorus you need another verse and maybe a b part like and you know we all kind of work on it right individually and then we'll we'll get together and then kind of go over these skeletons of songs i guess and then break apart and be like, we're we're all gonna think about the same thing here for a while and see what we all come up with and we'll reconvene and right. A lot of times it'll be like nobody figure out anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then sometimes it'll be like, I got a great part for this song. Like <laughs> it's a slow process, but it's <laughs> how it works. <laughs> all right, Johnny O. How about you how about you play one more for us here on the way out? Yeah, sure. And, sure. Uh, and I'll tell everyone that I'm so thrilled to have a chance to talk to John Randall here. He is the guitar player and the vocalist and one of the three songwriters of the Hooten Hollers. You can find him on the web at thehootenhollers.com. And you can certainly link to their stuff from my website at mikehagan.com. Uh, always just look at the open mic radio link there. And um, anyway, Johnny's the best and I'm so glad we had a chance to talk tonight and he's gonna play another one for us on the way out here. John, I'm going to ask you this time to back way off your phone. Okay, I've been overloading it, huh? Well, I'm, I'm I'm not sure exactly, but and and the people understand that you know we're we're doing this uh, without. That's what I. In, in fact, it's one of the reasons I love it. I'm not going to edit this at all, John. I'm, I think this. Huh? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, we'll. We'll get back at you next week, but uh, between now and then, take care of yourselves and take care of the people that you love and take care of the people that you don't love and be cool to yourself. <laughs> take care of them with air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> and be cool to other people. All right, Johnny Randall, what do you got for us, brother? All right, this is uh, another one off the new album. Uh, <laughs>
take care of the people you don't love. <laughs> That's right, my friend. <laughs> uh, this one, this is one that Kelly brought to the table, and uh, she had she brought it to the table almost completely done, and uh, had to teach me a lot of uh, a lot of chords so that I could play it. Not a lot, not most of them, but several chords. <laughs> You know, you know, in, in general, Kelly's had a lot to teach you and Andy, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, musically speaking. <laughs> anyway, it's got some flashy chords. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> I've been hurt before. I trust you blind. I've always been the tactic. I gotta see to believe You always told me that you prove your love by the stars above But it don't prove a thing You got to show me You got to show me You got to show me brother take care of yourself love you mike i'll talk to you soon kopn columbia 89.5 fm it's open mic radio catch y'all next week take care